own practice together has always been this sort of space where we can work out ideas, how we're engaging with the world around us, how we're framing our own lives. There are choices one makes to do this or do that that ultimately lead you on a certain path to end up where you are. I am Susanna Wesley. I'm Meredith Carruthers. And together we are Leisure. <laughs> we have a collaborative art practice. It's a research-based art practice that has looked at the history of women in art. And we're here at Musée d'Art Joliet in the exhibition, How One Becomes What One Is, that brings together our work over the last eight years in one space. We've been looking at a selection of women who were artists at the kind of mid 20th century. They were practicing artists at a time when there were still a lot of societal expectations on them to also be everything else that was required of women at that time, like stay-at-home mothers, stay-at-home wives. These women had to be quite inventive and find alternative ways to keep working on their practice. So we present a series of models or experiments that had a resonance for us when we were trying to find our own kind of path. And this sort of path is also the way that we tried to put together this exhibition. How you move around things, how you move through things, ends up being the through line of the whole project and also sort of potentially the subject of our own collaboration over time. Over the years, our practice has opened up to be more collaborative with visitors. We both have kids and like my kids have to go to art galleries and museums all the time. And we just always have to be saying absolutely no touching. It's really nice to be able to sometimes have an exhibition that they can participate in and that we can participate in too. You can make something and leave it here to be part of the exhibition so that you are an exhibiting artist also. In the end, it starts off as our project when the gallery opens for the first time, but very quickly, it becomes the project of many people. In the dance of symbols, adults, children, people will be invited into a kind of participatory environment that we're creating at the DHC. There'll be a set of uh, choices that each participant will be able to make in the space. And this will be a set of choices in terms of how they decide to identify with shapes and forms and colors that are drawn from the history of Expo 67. We were thinking about how countries chose to identify themselves visually, kind of formally at Expo. And then when you put all these pavilions together on one site, what comes out of it? Each of the stations at the workshop will be this moment of taking a decision uh, from the original sort of set of forms, which are quite straightforward and geometric, to how that surface ends up being transformed through the participants' own actions. And towards the end, there'll be this exciting moment of documenting a very individual dance, but also a collective moment with others. Mm -hmm.